Assalamu alaikum. What is up, guys? This is Sarah, aka We Are Blessed. Jamal al Wujudi bi dikir al Ilah. And for today's video, man, there's something crazy, man. There's something bloody crazy going on the bloody outside. The bloody people hurt you. The bloody guts of the Muslim. Basically, there's been this letter posted online, and people been talking about. Punish a Muslim day. Now imagine that. What the hell? How stupid that sounds. First, you need to listen to me. I pray nothing inshallah happens to you, but you need to follow certain stuff. You need to be ready and aware inshallah of your surroundings. So if you're a girl that wears a hijab, make sure you're looking around and you're looking at your surroundings during that day because there might be some stupid idiot that might harm you or do something. So inshallah, before that happens, you gotta make sure that you know what's going on and you gotta make sure that you're aware of your surroundings. So you can't be walking like this on your phone and we you know that, day. no, no, no. You gotta be put, you gotta put your phone that day in your back pocket and you gotta look around a bit, you know, make sure you're aware because you never know, you know, crazy people out there that might back attack you. And also, man, these are some crazy people posting this stuff. Why the hell do you hate me? Man, what did I do to you? What did I do to you? The media really hates Islam. Now there are certain people that are starting to hate Islam. But the fact is, y'all never read the Quran. And the Quran, there's no such thing as this, man. There's stuff taken out of context, man. They don't know what's the context behind. Who was it said to who? When was it said? How? When was it revealed? They, know, they don't even know how the Quran was revealed. So, I mean, people, when they talk with their nonsense ignorance, when they just read the English translation, when they can't even read or write or understand Arabic. So, I mean, just sometimes you look at it, you look, blah, 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 what are you saying? And then sometimes you look at it, you're like, what is this guy talking about? It makes no sense. You guys need to know that there's some people within your religion that are trying to get you astray. Our religion is so straightforward. Believe in one God and his final messenger. We believe in Adam, Abraham, Moses. It's all a continuation. It's the final revelation. The thing that separates us from Everybody else is strict monotheism, believing in one God and not associating any partner, no Baba Sharif, no Tatar Sharif, no grave worshipping, nothing. And there's a lot of people that don't like that. They don't like that. They don't like that about Islam, man. They've never studied Islam. They say stuff out of arrogance. This stuff shouldn't harm you or shouldn't affect you. Y'all need to keep your morale high. See, certain people are going to come on your way and say, Hey, you Muslim. Oh, you terrorist. No Sharia law. I ain't eating halal, I ain't eating halal, halal, But you know what you need to do? You need to ignore and greet with peace. And you need to walk away. If you create and you entertain the thought and you actually escalate that by saying something back, brother, you're putting yourself in a pit hole. You ain't gonna win that game. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. And but same thing with this, guys. Just be more aware, inshallah. And also, don't worry, man. People are gonna keep hating. Have you ever read the Quran? Read the Quran with its translation. And there's so many surahs, especially in the 30, 29, 28th juz, that hit you in the heart. Surah Ashrah, Surah Duha. Oh my God, there's beautiful surahs out there, man. Check them out and read them with the translation. Allah's talking to you. He's giving you motivation. You know, I, I'm a type of guy. Sometimes I do get depressed. I get, I do get sad. I have emotions. I'm a emotional being, man. I'm a human being. You know, I eat, sleep, repeat, do my thing. You know. You know, once I was just, you know. Going through some videos and I clicked on some a video by Umar Hisham Surah Duha. I might I'll, I'll put I'll post the link below if you guys are interested. So I was just looking reading the surah, man. I swear you just read it and then you cry, man. Subhanallah. You know the meaning? Oh my god. I'm telling you, man, you have the motivation, you know. Anything if this thing is bothering you, I please, I Allah, I recommend you pick up a copy and read this, man. Read this, man. Read this, please read it. And it won't touch you until you read it with the open mind and you you, you admit. When I, when I picked up this book and I read it, subhanAllah, you know, I, I, I was in tears, I was broken. My life wasn't at the best, so I, I submitted myself. I'm like, Allah, this is your book, truly. I'm looking in for answers now. And if this book is truthful, please show me a sign. So I just picked up the Quran, the translation. I open a random page. Right now, I opened a random page, and uh, there's an ayah saying, uh, The Lord of Musa, Moses, and Harun, Aaron, Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, You have believed in him before I give you leave. Surely he indeed is your chief, who has taught you magic. So verily, you shall come to know verily. I will cut off your hands and your feet, opposite sides, and I will crucify you all. They said, no harm, surely to our Lord Allah, we are to return. SubhanAllah. I, I, I kind of, I think so, I ate some words up when I was, when I was reading. Uh, but SubhanAllah, man, you see, I, that's what I'm saying. 
this is my little motivates y'all. So guys, I'm gonna tell you a cure to save yourselves and to save myself time. A cure I have for you that you will not fear any pain, inshallah. And you will have taqwa, you will have belief that nothing's gonna harm you unless it's from the will of Allah, from the will of God. So this right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the Quran. So these surahs we all know, and I'm gonna read them out before I go on my rant, inshallah. I'm gonna tell you all how strong is this Quran. So this is the first surah that will help you from the protection of the evil, of any evil, not only this. I'm talking about generally. It's surah, it's surah ikhlas. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. And if you say this, this builds taqwa. Inshallah, watch. I'm telling you, man. I promise. I promise. I'm not joking. I'm not making this up. And now the second surah. It's Surah Al-Falaq. Y'all know this Surah, man. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq Min sharri ma khalaq Wa min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab Wa min sharri naffathati fil uqad Wa min sharri hasidin idha hasad The last Surah is Surah Nas. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس من الجنة والناس. So now you know how powerful is this Quran. How powerful are these little surahs that we read? And read them with meaning. And inshallah, leave, go, earn your livelihood, go outside, go inshallah. And I'm not saying just go outside and be crazy. Yes, look at your surroundings and be aware. But inshallah, nothing's gonna happen to you, man. I, got, I gave you a nice solution, you know. Inshallah, it's a really good solution. Just read these surahs, man. You'll be good, inshallah. And keep your trust in Allah. Don't worry, don't worry, don't stress, don't overthink stuff, inshallah. You know, these people are gonna keep plotting, they're gonna keep scheming, they're gonna keep trying to put you down. But you gotta be the better man, and you gotta keep fighting, inshallah, keep believing in Allah. And don't let that go, because that's what all we got. When we leave, when we go six feet deep, that's the only thing we're taking with us, our deeds. We're not taking anything else. So let them have the money, let them have the fame, let them have the spotlights, and let them have everything, inshallah. Don't worry, don't worry, we be humble. We're not, we're not people for here. <laughs> we're not people made for here. We're, we're, we're people made for Jannah. We're gonna be in Jannah, inshallah. We're not gonna be here, inshallah, forever. We don't live life like we're living forever. I, I don't live my life like I'm living here forever. So that's my main thing, you know. Just be safe, inshallah, and don't worry, man. You'll be good, bro. But it's just, you know, this is serious, man. This is serious, too, you know. At the same time, you recite and also be aware of your surroundings. Because, yeah, there are people that want to inflict harm on you, but you gotta keep your trust in God and don't worry about nothing else. So, man, if you liked the video, man, I kept it really short, inshallah. Hopefully, I did. Remember, man, you blah, I'm blah, and we all blessed. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget. Be safe. This punish a Muslim day ain't gonna happen. We ain't gonna punish no Muslims. We ain't gonna punish non-Muslims. We love each other, alhamdulillah, for the sake of Allah. Just, my people, please, be aware of your surroundings. I love y'all. Salam. Let's go.